Hey everyone, my name is Adam, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we will be taking a look at how well Windows 7 holds up in 2023. This operating system launched on October 22nd, 2009, and was supported all the way until January 14th of 2020. Along with Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows 7 received an additional three years of extended security updates. But on January 10th, 2023, Microsoft dropped extended security updates for the operating system. So that leaves the question, is it still possible to use this operating system after security updates are no longer offered, and how usable is it? Well, let's take a look. For this video, I wanted to use a Windows 7 era PC, so I've chosen the HP Pavilion DV5 Special Edition laptop, which launched in 2008 with Windows Vista installed. While this laptop didn't originally come with Windows 7, Vista and 7 are very similar and came out not too far from each other. The system specs for this laptop include the Intel Core 2 Duo T6400 2GHz CPU, 4GB of DDR2 RAM, and a 500GB 7200RPM hard drive. For this installation of Windows 7, I will be installing Windows 7 Ultimate Service Pack 1 64-bit using a USB drive. Installing Windows 7 was quick and easy because we're using a USB drive. Using a DVD disc will take longer to install. Now that Windows 7 is installed, we will install all the missing drivers. While most of the drivers were installed during the Windows 7 install, some drivers need to be installed separately. A great tool to install all missing drivers easily is Snappy Driver Installer. This tool finds all the missing drivers on your system, as well as updated drivers too. I will have a link for this app in the description below. Keep in mind that this app is completely free and is super easy to set up. Now that we've installed all of the missing drivers, let's see how well video playback is. Let's start with playing the sample video included with Windows 7. As you can see, it plays just fine. Unfortunately, for this video, I can't play back the audio and the sample audio files included with Windows 7. But the good news is that the sample audio files play back just like they used to. Next, let's see if photo viewing works. As you can see, it works just like it used to. Web browsing is a big part of Windows, so let's see how well that works in Windows 7. Internet Explorer 8 has lots of limitations when web browsing. So we're going to try out the latest version of Google Chrome that supports Windows 7, which is version 109. The first website that we can check out is YouTube, and let's see how well Google Chrome can handle 1080p video playback. 1080p video playback is very smooth with minimal frame drops. 720p would definitely be the sweet spot for watching videos on the web, because you can get next to no frame drops and you can still have the good quality at the same time. 1080p is still a great option for video playback. Next, let's test out one of the most popular search engines, Google. Google loads perfectly fine and is fully functional. So we can see that browsing the web, video and audio playback, and photo viewing all works. But how about Office applications? For this, I'm going to install Microsoft Office 2016 Professional Plus 64-bit and test out programs like PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. Now that Microsoft Office 2016 is installed, let's test out PowerPoint. The load time is okay, but not the fastest. Performance overall is great, and it feels like I'm running PowerPoint on fast, modern hardware. You can see that writing text is perfectly smooth, and creating new slides also works perfectly. The next Office application we're going to test is Word. The load time was a lot faster than PowerPoint's load time, and the load speed is around the same as Office applications loading on modern hardware. Writing text on Word is so simple and smooth. It doesn't feel much different from modern versions of Word. You could use Word on Windows 7 for daily use and you will have minimal to no problems. Moving on to the final Office application we're going to test is Excel. The load time looks to be even faster than Word's load time, which is great. As you can see, inputting data into Excel was a breeze, with no problems whatsoever. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. 
Let's see how well the pre-installed games play in Windows 7. We're going to start with testing out a simple game of Minesweeper. That played great with no problems. Next, let's try a game of Solitaire. Solitaire works without any problems as well. Windows 7 games are still usable and are still very fun to play. Next, let's check out Desktop Gadgets. Desktop Gadgets were first introduced in Windows Vista and were removed in Windows 8 in later versions of Windows. Desktop Gadgets provide your PC with lots of customization and gadgets are very useful in their own ways. For example, we have the Calendar Gadget, the Clock Gadget, and the CPU and RAM Speed Gadget. There are a lot more gadgets that exist so you can customize your Windows Vista and Windows 7 PCs more. Moving on to an app that was widely used for playing movies, video and audio playback, and for watching TV on your computer was Windows Media Center. You might remember that Windows Media Center was also included with Windows Vista, but did you know that it first came out in a special edition of Windows XP, which was Windows XP Media Center edition, which was released in 2002. There were later revisions of it in 2004 and 2005. Windows Media Center was last included with Windows 8.1. Now with that out of the way, Windows Media Center's performance. First, let's check out photo viewing and see how well that works. Photo viewing works just like it should. Now let's check how well video playback is. As you can see, video playback works perfectly. Now something I'd like to show is a special Windows Media Center remote that this laptop comes with. This remote includes features like the ability to turn the volume up or down, skip to the next video, play and pause buttons, arrow buttons, and a power button to turn the laptop on or off. Next, let's see if some of the built-in apps are still usable. First, let's test out the calculator app. As you can see, the calculator app works. Next, let's test out the Sticky Notes app. As you can see, the Sticky Notes app works. Next, let's try creating something in the Paint app. As you can see, we were successfully able to create something in the Paint app. Now, let's test out some of the beloved themes included with Windows 7, including the classic theme.
As you can see, the Windows 7 themes still work and look great. Keeping an operating system up to date with updates is crucial when it comes to security and staying safe on the operating system, even if it means you're using it past its end of life mark. The Windows 7 update feature still works, but you have to install an update to get Windows Update to work again. After checking for updates, we have found 171 updates to install. Here is where you can see all of the updates that Windows Update found. Installing all of the updates will take a very long time, especially depending on your system's hardware and network speed. With the operating system now fully up to date, let's activate Windows 7 online. You may be wondering, don't I need to activate Windows 7 through phone activation? Well the answer is no. While you still can activate Windows 7 through phone activation, you can also activate it online. You need to install an update that fixes the online activation service so you can activate Windows online. Just like that, Windows 7 is fully activated. So now that we've taken a look at almost everything in Windows 7, now we can answer our question. Is it still usable after its final end of life mark? Well, the answer is yes. Because the end of life mark was fairly recent, software support hasn't gone out yet for all apps, but will soon. Features like web browsing, video and audio playback, photo viewing, office applications, games, built-in apps, desktop gadgets, themes, and more all work just like they used to. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, share them with your friends, and let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.